Hello, my name is Prime Thorn, and welcome to another video of mine. Today we're going to talk about the Operator's Skull from the Alpha section in the Russian section of the Operators. He's a sniper operator, so first we're going to watch what the sniper role is in Caliber, so let's look at The Marksman at it. balances the team and evens the odds against the enemy. The Marksman's weapons have the longest range and are the most powerful in Caliber. The Marksman protects allies and takes care of high priority targets. Grenadiers, machine gunners, and medics. Other targets are not important for him. By focusing on them, the marksman risks letting a strong enemy slip by. The marksman is a guardian angel. I said he's a sniper operator with 90 HP with one armor slot and a low stamina usage. He can run farther and as fast as the medic class. Since he is a sniper, he is most deadly at long range since his only backup is a pistol. Now if you get flanked, then you're screwed or can be very lucky to in getting a kill. Now let's talk about his primary, the AWSM sniper rifle. The one shot to the head to put down or two to three shots for the body. It has a five round magazine but we'll start with three makes total. And if you further upgrade it, you'll have four makes further down the upgrade tree for the operator. The upgrades are a bipod, a sling, and a new scope. Hip fire is not really recommended for using the sniper, but ADS or aim down sight for the sniper is quick than using a hip fire. The sidearm is a Glock 17 with a 17 round mag at the start, then a 33 round extended magazine after you upgrade it. As next, is a PMN4 mine that you can plant to activate it. When the enemy gets into the radius of the mine, then it will detonate with a high damage output. Usually it will put about less than or less than a fifth of to the health of a support operator. At first you will start with two, then you eventually will have three after you upgrade it. Now his ability is called Barrage. It states that when used, allows to stay in scope while firing, improves the fire rate and weapon control. Damage of the primary weapon does not drop with distance to the target. Any hit on an opponent from a primary weapon inflicts barrage on them for the duration of the ability. The operator is marked. Barrage is if the target becomes incapacitated, they require more time to resuscitate. His ability is good if you have enough enemies in front of you to put quick to quickly put down if you're in a pinch or to put enemy down fast that's coming towards you now with using him i have seen that the snipers it can be hard to judge how you land your shots sometimes you just have to guesstimate the bullet your bullet drop of the weapon and the caliber that it is as well because sometimes that does play into effect other than that here's some tips for you now, with his mines, it can be very vital to use to plan around a corner and bait an enemy into your location so they can run into it, or just plant general in locations that you know they will like to move or flank to. The sniper will reload slowly so you have to take your shots effectively, or just use a sniper to bait out the other sniper out so he can be seen. S some snipers will kill you faster than others because of the type of guns they have and the amount of damage that sniper can output. Popping shots can be vital tactic as I have seen with other people since the sniper is quick. Always try to stay back or stay near your teammates if you need to. Only use the pistol if they get in close range to you, they can land your shots effectively. Now with this video done, if you have any tips or tricks with this operator, feel, please feel free to share in the comments section down below. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. I know there are people out there who like these videos so they know which operator they can get that will suit them. Now, if you want me to cover any other operators, feel free to comment down below of which operator you would like me to do next. Catch me live stream on Twitch Monday through Friday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.